Live Lean Mac and Cheese. Welcome back to Live Lean TV. For women, I'm your host, Jessica Guthrow, number one expert teaching you how to live lean. One of our specialties here on the show is taking regular comfort foods and live leanifying them so that we're using healthier ingredients, better substitutes, so that you can enjoy comfort foods but still stay lean all year round. So this is a great one, mac and cheese, who doesn't love that? We're doing this with no pasta, and no cheese. So if you're intrigued, stay tuned, come into the kitchen with me, I'll show you what it takes to make this and the steps to put it together. The ingredients start with some butternut squash and I like to buy it like pre-cut like this but you can also just buy a whole one and then cut it yourself into half inch cubes like this. You'll need two cups of that. You're also going to need one chicken breast, so find some organic chicken breast. Take a whole white onion. You're also gonna need two zucchinis, some ground mustard, some ground turmeric, and then some Himalayan pink salt, black pepper, and some ground or fresh thyme. Um, you're also gonna need nutritional yeast for that cheesy flavor. And then what makes it really creamy, the secret ingredient here is the coconut milk. So go for the full fat can of coconut milk. Also for cooking, you're gonna be using some coconut oil spray and some coconut oil. Your first step is to chop the onion you're just going to use half for this part of the recipe and save the other half for a later part of the recipe. So set that aside and then you're going to cut it into cubes or square shapes. Throw it into a large mixing bowl. You're also going to add in the butternut squash, two cups. Add one tablespoon of coconut oil to that mixture, half teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt, and about a half teaspoon of black pepper as well. And then you're gonna stir this mixture together. Once you've got the coconut oil distributed throughout the mix, you're gonna lay it onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Now we'll bake this in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. So now for the chicken, you're gonna open up that container and just remove one of the chicken breasts and you'll lay it down, season it with some salt and pepper on both sides. Put a medium sized pan over a medium flame and then you're gonna take your coconut cooking oil spray and just coat the pan lightly with some nonstick spray. Go ahead and lay that chicken breast in there and let it cook for a few minutes on each side until it looks golden brown. Your next step is to make your macaroni. In this case, this could be made out of onion and zucchini. So you're gonna take that second half of the onion, cut the end off, and make sure to remove the skin. And you're gonna chop this onion finely into smaller than bite-sized pieces. Now with the zucchini, you're gonna cut the little hat off, and then you will cut it down the center long ways, and then flip it and do again down the center. And then when you cut it this way, you'll be making these small quarter size pieces. Go ahead and finish that with both zucchinis. Once your chicken is finished cooking, it should be a little brown on both sides. You can remove it and set it onto a plate. Now in a larger saute pan, you're gonna take that cooking spray and just spray a light coat. Then go ahead and start sauteing your onions and zucchini. So we can now cut the chicken into small cubes and then just set it aside until we're done with the vegetables. Make sure to keep stirring those veggies so they get cooked evenly on all sides and meanwhile we're going to put together the sauce in the food processor. For the sauce, you want to use your food processor, use the Escalade and then we're going to put the coconut milk in the entire can is the first step. So, you know, be careful when you're using this because it has this thick layer of coconut fat on the top and then it has this watery mix underneath. So I usually will take a big scoop out and then just pour the water so you don't make a big splash. Next, you're gonna use some ground thyme. You can also use fresh thyme, about one tablespoon of this. You're gonna take half a teaspoon of mustard seed, ground mustard seed. You can also just use regular mustard. We'll take half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. This is so healthy and good for you. You're also gonna add two full tablespoons of nutritional yeast. This is what gives it that really cheesy flavor. You can also add a dash of pink Himalayan salts and fresh ground black pepper. Now put the lid on and blend. 
This is just part of the sauce. It's not quite done yet. We still have to add the butternut squash after it finishes cooking and cooling. So let's give that a check. Once the butternut squash and onions are cooled from baking in the oven, you're gonna go ahead and dump them into the food processor. And then we're gonna blend everything all up. So go ahead and put your cooked zucchini and onions into a medium sized mixing bowl. Also add the chicken. And now we're ready to pour the sauce over top. Mix everything together well until it's fully combined. Now go ahead and place the mixture into a serving dish and give it an extra little sprinkle of nutritional yeast. And that's it. There you have it, a delicious but super healthy live lean version of mac and cheese. Let's give it a bite. Damn, that's good. This is so savory and delicious and creamy. You will not even miss cheese or pasta. You have to try this. It has protein, it has fiber, healthy fats, everything you need to live lean. You're gonna love making this for the family. And so don't forget we have hundreds other more amazing recipes just like this one inside our membership site, teamlivelean.com. So join us in there and get all your workouts done for you, all your meals planned for you, and everything you need to live lean is very simplified. Thanks for watching today's episode. I'll be back with a new one every Thursday, so I'll see you next time. And in the meantime, keep living lean. And all